Welcome to Land Musings. We're trying something a little different today. Um, I was thinking I might just sit here and chat with you about planners, journals and stationery. And it's just going to be whatever comes to mind. I've got some stationery items I've set aside here that I want to chat about. Um, but yeah, it'll be a chill one. We'll start with my main squeeze, my Hobonichi Weeks. I'm still loving this black pebbled leather Motom cover, um, but I have purchased a new one recently. It is the Hobonichi Tragen cover with the little case in the front. So I'm really looking forward to receiving that one. And hopefully it is the solution to me having all of my essential items with me when I am using my Hope in Ichi Weeks. The Calendex is currently being used to track my daily steps and I changed up my monthlies by having my media logs at the bottom here. And in February I used this new set of stickers I got from the Notebook Therapy. It's um, cafe themed and I am loving it. I've dug out my Once More With Love stickers and I've been using those in my week's pages as well and they've been super cute and added a bit of character to my pages. I'll just show you quickly my little album of stickers that I use in my Hobonichi Weeks. These ones are by Sweet Record Designs and I love Hannah's handwriting so I had to pick these ones up. And I also use these once more with love stickers. Um, they're just these cute little blobby characters. <laughs> and I bought them ages ago and kind of was reluctant to use them because they were so cute. But uh, this is the year of using up my stash. So I'm excited to use these in my spreads. And these are just in a Hobonichi photo album. And I just pop them in these squares I've made on the left hand side, wherever there are gaps or wherever it feels relevant. On these Feb week pages, I've been using those cafe stickers again. They're so pretty. I just love the colours, the shading. Um, they're neutral with a little bit of something something. Just thinking what pages I should or can show you from my notes pages. I guess I can show you my weekly tasks pages. So yeah, I've been able to keep this up to date. I've also added some more items there um, just to help me kind of keep up to date with my planning and journaling um, on a weekly basis as well. So I don't fall too far behind. In my rolling months pages, I'm continuing to use the Eisenhower matrix and it has been really effective for me. I've used this for a few months now and I don't feel like I'll be changing things up anytime soon. So that's my everyday carry in a nutshell. And I'll take you through some of my other planners as well. The newest addition to my planner stack is this one here, my new plotter. But before I get into that, I will show you my Nolte 1180. Now I had all of the intentions with this planner. I love the size of it. The paper's really great. Um, we all love a Nolte planner. They're just very well designed and I love this layout. And the fonts that they use, the colour of the paper, the size of the grid, it ticks all of the boxes. But for some reason, I just couldn't find a way to use it. So initially, I was using this as my side hustle planner um, for Happy Mail Studios and also tracking what I'm doing here on YouTube. But seeing as it's not like my day-to-day -day job, all of the tasks, I was constantly migrating every week. And it just ended up being a lot of effort. So what I feel like I need is something that's not dated for my side hustle. And so I got this plotter. 
and did I need to get a plotter? No. But did I want one and did I jump on that bandwagon when Lindsay and Hannah were starting to show theirs on their accounts? Yes, yes I did. It's actually crazy how much of a resurgence Rings has had in this community and I'm here for it. This sticker here is by Sweet Freckle Designs again. Just loving Hannah's hand lettering. And in here you'll get a glimpse of my printables from Happy Mail Studios. So they are undated, which is kind of what I needed for this planner, but I'm not sure I'll be using the week's pages. This one here was a test. And I've been using Kukuyo business paper and it's been great. Actually, I'll just show you something else. So originally I was using my potter as my work planner, but I missed these weekly memo inserts by Traveller's Company. I had used them last year and I tried to do something different, but we're back on it. So I have my little focus area at the top here, my daily tasks on the left, and I've stuck in my pages from when I was using my plotter for work. What I like about this insert is that it's a really good size. I have so much space here to do my daily tasks and the grid is a great size as well. I think it's four millimeters. I also have this small subtle Muji pencil case that I leave at work and they are the Sarasa vintage pens in all these different colors. I also have my Fudonosuke brush tip pen in here as well in case I need to use it for my hobo weeks. Some subtle Muji highlighters and as a product owner I try to coordinate my products with these different colored pens. And of course I can't forget my trusty Muji in the 0.5. We'll just pop these back in the pencil case. Again, this is a Muji pencil case, just a really simple, minimal mesh pencil case. And at the back here, I have another insert, and it's just a plain grid one by Traveller's Company. And this is where I just, it's a scratch pad, essentially. I do flows and thought processing, notes, um, just random bits and pieces in there and really that's about it pretty simple setup for my work planner and I just needed that bigger space because I am not neat at work I just need to write things down and check them off and so the plotter wasn't really working out for me because there's the rings in the middle here which I guess kind of got in the way, especially because I jot notes down quickly and I just couldn't deal with the rings being a hindrance. But that is a work problem, I need to write quickly at work. Um, but when I'm doing my side hustle or other things, I don't have to rush. So the rings are fine for um, my side hustle and it'd be fine for my personal planner as well. I've been using these months pages to track my content and I've got these new stickers here as well. I've um, decided to make some months stickers in the elegant font for Happy Mail Studios. Just show you the sheet here if I have it. There it is. So this is the new month's sheet that I have made for you guys. Um, I'll link it down below if you're interested in purchasing it. But yeah, I've had a bit of fun playing around with these new printable inserts that I've made for Happy Mail Studios. And I think I mentioned before, it is on Kukuyo paper, which is such a joy to write on. These inserts here are just my blank grid inserts and I've been using this one to track my YouTube content and I really like the flexibility that a simple blank grid can give you. 
these tabs by the way uh, by Sweet Freckle Designs as well. In the back here I have a to-do list, pretty simple, just using the bullet journal method. Um, I'm not precious about the content I have here, it's, um, it's not too confidential. And there's a little to buy list as well. And the pen that I have been using in this plotter is this Sarasa Grant in this green body. And the ink is a Uniball one. Let me just grab that. Here we go. So in this one, I have the Muji 0.38 and I use that for my Hobonichi Weeks. And then I put that ink into my Sarasa Grand pen and it is just the Uniball one in the 0.38 size. I'll just close that up and we'll move on to the next item. What I'd love to chat about now is a sailor pen. This is my Megetsu. I'll link the unboxing video here. I got this in the extra fine and I've been using it in my hobo weeks. So I use my Muji 0.38 on the go and my Sailor Pro Gear Slim Megetsu when I'm at home and I have the time to focus and write slowly without smudging it. I'll just quickly show you the pen test page so you can see the similarity in the line width of these two pens. And at the moment I just have my Sailor pen inked with the black cartridge that it came with. I guess that would be a Sailor Black. And I've enjoyed writing with it, so what I do is I plan out my week on the Sunday, and that is when most of the migration of tasks happens, and I guess most of the writing. And I do that with my Sailor Progis Slim, and during the week I do my updates using my Muji pen. I'm just doing a pen test of both of these pens on this page so you can see firsthand how they look. Okay, let's bring you closer to the page so you can see if it decides to focus. There we go. So alike. I have been loving this combo and it's so nice to have more reasons to pull out my fountain pen. Okay, so that's that. The next thing I want to talk about is another abandoned planner. <laughs> Let me just grab it for you. So this is one here. The Thinking of You Planner by Mr. Eggplants and I had super high hopes and ambitions for this one so you can see here with the monthly spread for December I had a certain style I was going for here and after completing this monthly spread I already could feel that this was going to be a lot of effort I did create one or two weekly pages. Let me just flip to that now. There we go. And you can see towards the end of the week, I stopped with the stickers and the week following, I just did the text. And in this week here, I was just doing some trialing to see how I want to proceed with this. But I think what I'll do is cut out these sections and paste them into my memory keeper whenever I want to write something for that day just so this planner doesn't go to waste because it is beautiful I just had um, overestimated what I could keep up with in my planner stack 
So yeah, unfortunately, I'll be letting this one go. The next one I wanted to bring up is my five-year techo. I have a love-hate relationship with this one. I love the original Tomoe River paper. I love being able to reflect back on what I was doing and thinking, feeling the previous year. These little illustrations that I did as well. Um, it's been fun, but uh, this second year it has been trying. <laughs> Just because um, there's so many other daily planners and journals out there and I'm feeling a bit FOMO. And lately I've just wanted to do the bare minimum in here, just write whatever it is that happened that day, thoughts, feelings, and I've not done the stamps or illustrations. So yeah, keeping at it, but struggling. That's it. I did add another insert into my passport size tn um, but it is undated which makes things a lot easier and a bit more flexible it is this uh i don't know what this one's called actually but it has the week on two pages it's undated in cream midori paper and i was thinking i'll use that for stickers and um maybe illustrations of significant days in significant weeks. The fact that it's undated means there's no pressure, so that's how I justified that purchase. I feel like this video is turning into a Tetro Kaigi, but in February. <laughs> I just want to show you my 2023 Commonplace planner, and it has my ink swatches in the monthly pages. And I did the same thing for my commonplace planner for this year, which is also undated. So far what I've done is just pop the colour labels on the pages and also using grey lid, I've popped in the names of the inks. So it'll be interesting to see how the ink performs on the new Tomoe River Sanson paper. In the Calendex pages, I have been doing a word a day, which is semi-inspired by Journal with Jazz. In terms of the keys, I think I have um, five, but I did white out that bottom line so that I could add some more, just in case. And I've only done a few pages. This is the entry I did for the new movie Poor Things some Chinese New Year <laughs> notes um, and I did some ink swatches as well. This one here is my newly acquired Fairy Swirl Press ink. Um, it's called Knitted Nettle. I'll actually grab it because the bottles are beautiful. So I recently became an ambassador for this brand Fairy Swirl Press and they sent me three inks. I'll just grab the other one. So we've got Knitted Nettle, the Sherry Sonata, and Aurorealis. I feel like Fairies World Press is so good at their packaging. You can tell they've put in a lot of effort and thought into them. I'll link these down below, including my affiliate link, which gives you 10% off your next Fairies World Press order. So far I've only done this one page of swatches and I've done on the left hand side here some comparisons as well just so I can see what other inks I have um, and what inks are out there that are similar. I really enjoyed doing this page. I think I might do the same with the other two inks here and also any of the other inks that they send my way. So yeah, so far so good with this commonplace planner. I've loved the flexibility I have with it being undated and I don't foresee feeling sick of that one anytime soon. Next up, I have a Traveler's Company notebook. This one is in olive and I got these two new charms. 
thank you to Yuxing from Kubo and Lucy who helped me grab these two from BK in America. I think it's Bam Kuhen. I might be pronouncing it wrong, but yeah, those are my two new charms. And I feel like I'm going to change up my memory keeper going forward. I feel like I'm more of a visual person and given I'm already logging what I've done on these days in my five year pet show, I don't want to have to repeat myself again. I'm already finding it hard to find time to do this in itself. So I want to keep this to being a bit more of a visual journal. As you can see here, I've popped in some ephemera in this front pocket. So that's what I do throughout the month. I just collect these bits and then I pop them in the pocket until there is a time when I am ready to sit down and have a long journaling session with my memory keeper. One of the things I wanted to focus my creative energy on this year is collaging. So I have this one here. I think I took you guys through it in my Tichikaigi. But yeah, I haven't really been doing much in here so far. Um, I've been quite busy the last couple of months. But I did get this beautiful insert by Mark Smallow. And I'll pop the link down below to her Etsy shop. I just love the variation of paper in this insert. And here I've got a leather pocket by Traveller's Company and it just has some ephemera that I might want to use in a collage at some point. And I think the reason why I haven't started is because I just don't have a prompt. Um, so what I've done is gone to a vintage shop in Melbourne and picked up some vintage ephemera. I was thinking that could be the centerpiece or the core piece of the collage or I could cut them up and do something creative with them. I don't know, I just thought that might help kickstart this collage journal. I think also one of the other reasons why I haven't really started is because I, um, I don't want to ruin this beautiful notebook that I bought. So uh, I have to overcome that. <laughs> it's like I'm um, waiting for the perfect idea, but that perfect idea may never come. So yeah, I need to set aside some time to work on that. I also have this collage journal here, um, which is more for stickers. I've yet to decide if I'm using these monthly pages, but um, the undated dailies I've definitely started on. So this is the kind of style I've been working on, but I want to keep it flexible. Um, whatever it is that I want to work on, I will do in this little notebook. It is quite a chunky one, so it's not likely I'll finish it this year, but that was not the intention. I just wanted to use this as a collage and sticker journal. And while we are on that topic, I just want to show you how I've been storing my collaging pieces. I have two of these A5 binders that I got from AliExpress, and so one is for stickers, um, namely pet tape. I'll take you through that one quickly first. So the inserts I've got here are these vertical ones and I've just popped in a loop or two of the pet tapes I have in my collection. And then the back here I have these bigger sleeves for um, the odd sized pet tapes. <laughs> so I've been really enjoying that and it's been making it easier to see what I have available um, to use. I also have this accordion folder that I got from Daiso and I pop in my sticker sheets in here and I have them categorized by animals and food, people, um, just an effort to keep things a little bit more organized and easier to find for when I am collaging or finding stickers for my journals. 
I often joke with other people in this community that half of the fun in this hobby is the whole storage aspect of it. So in this collage A5 binder, I have these plastic pockets with the little zippy zips and I pop in my larger collage pieces in here. I've also got my smaller collage items in my Superior Labour Traveller's Notebook in these little pockets. Um, I think I've got a video of that. If I do, I'll pop it here. Um, but yeah, these pockets are large ones, so they're for my larger pieces. And while we're on the topic of storage or organisation, I uh, did get a new pen rest. And so this is a five pen rest that I purchased from Etsy and I chose the walnut um, wood type. And I just got this so that my top five pens were a bit more easily accessible. I'll just show you as well at the bottom here. You could opt to get it engraved as well. So I thought, why not? And it just says Amanda's pens in this cursive script. I'll pop down the link below for this Etsy seller as well. I'll just set these aside. I guess that's all of the items I wanted to talk about today. I hope you enjoyed this casual chat and update, I guess, on my planner and journal stack and also taking a look at some new items that I have acquired. I'll try to pop down as many links as I can down below and if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. I'm thinking about adding these casual updates and chats to my monthly uploads but um, only if you guys like it. <laughs> so let me know. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I try to upload on a weekly basis. Until next time, bye.